Hello, a pleasant day everyone. So, I am here again, your English teacher, Ma'am Jane, and I will be explaining to you English Quarter 2, Module 2. So, I would like to congratulate each and everyone who uh, finished answering Quarter 2, Module 1. So, if you uh, accomplish all the tasks that I ask you to accomplish, so you will get high grades for Quarter 2, Module 1 in English. So, for today, for this week, uh, we will focus on English Quarter 2 Module 2 entitled Using Search Engine to Conduct a Guided Search on a Given Topic. So, sometimes your teacher will give you an assignment. So, what are you going to do? Sometimes you will open your uh, cell phone or your computer or your laptop and you will search the assignment in the internet. So, the site that you use in searching your assignment is called search engine. So, I hope you have an idea about this particular topic because we are all using this. Okay, first let us have what I need to know. So, what do you need to know in this particular module? So, in this module, you will learn how to identify different web search engines. So, we have here five uh, search engines or web search engines. Number two, determine ways on guided search. So, how can you easily search a particular topic in the internet using the web search engines? And number three, familiarize oneself with filter searches and value the importance of web search. So, just like what we did in English Quarter 2, Module 1, no need to answer what I know. No need to answer what's in and no need to answer what's new. So, let us now go on with the most important part in this module, what is it? So, under what is it, we can see the words World Wide Web. So, when you say World Wide Web, it is the meaning of the www. If you will notice, when you open your browser, so you can type www dot just like that so when you say www dot www dot it means world wide web so the first w is world the second w is wide and the third is web so world wide web ranges widely that you can search information that you want to know any information that you want to know you can search that in the internet so if you do not know formulas in math so you can search that in the internet you can search theories uh, about your science subjects. You can search the history of the Philippines. Everything. You can search that in the World Wide Web. That's the reason why it is worldwide. No? Worldwide. So, we have also the so-called web search engine. So, when you say web search engine, it is a software that allows an internet user, so we are all internet users, so, the web search engine allows us to find different topics, discussions, ebooks. So, when you say ebooks, the electronic books that we can find in the internet. So, the videos and audios available in the World Wide Web. So, its main function is to collect, store, and order information systematically. Okay, so that's why sometimes we can. We can find the needed assignment easily in the internet because it is arranged systematically. So, we have here the first web search engine. The most famous, Google. So, we have www.google.com. So, what can you find in the Google? So, you can find mostly general knowledge in, in Google. So, general knowledge includes images. So, we can find images in Google. We can also find videos. Also, the news, the updated news. Sometimes, we can find books or ebooks in Google. Maps, even flights and finance available in the World Wide Web. So, this search engine shows millions of results, results in just a click. So, imagine you will just type the keyword in the search bar and it will show you many 
information. So that's the reason why people usually use google.com. So how can you how can you open google.com? So number 1, click your browser to open. For example, this is your browser. Yeah, so all you need to do is to type www.google.com and it will appear just like this. So in the search bar, you will search the topic that you want to search. For example, you want to know the meaning of www. Uh, just like that. So then, press enter. Okay, so we can see the answer in just one click. So it means that uh, www it means World Wide Web. So that is how you can access uh, Google. In just one click, you can find the needed information. Oh yeah, very easy. It is, it is just self-explanatory. So after opening your browser, yeah, you can you can use two browser. Yeah, you can use this and the other one. And after opening your browser, all you need to do is to type www.google.com and then press enter and it will show this image. And then you will type the information that you want to, s to search. And then after that, click the keyword to show the results. And you can find many results, just like this one. Yeah, there are many results. Uh, results. So all you need to do is to choose the best results that e that you need. Okay. So that is Google. So in the Google, we can find these tabs, or just like this one. In these tabs. So these are all the information in the Google about www. So you can also find news here in the Google. Some videos. Just like that, we can find some images and also some maps. Ayan. Maps. If you will click back, so you can see many, many other tabs. Just like shopping, books, flights, and finance. So that is the use of Google. Next, let us go on with Bing. So how can you access Bing? How can you go in the Bing web search engine. So all you need to do is to type www.bing.com so it looks like this. Almost the same with Google. So in this search bar, you will type the information that you want to search. So if you know how to use Google, you can easily know how to use Bing. So they are almost the same. So Internet Archive is the third one. It is a non-profit library of millions of free books. So imagine in the Internet Archive, you can find free books, free movies, software, music, websites, and more. This web search engine prioritizes online books or e-books. So in instead of buying books in National Bookstore, you can find many books in Archive or Internet Archive. So you can download them and then read them. So, it is almost the same with uh, borrowing book or bar borrowing packet book. So, instead of reading packet book or instead of reading uh, novels in a book form, you can search that in the Internet Archive. And if you will notice in this particular illustration, these are the books found in the Internet Archive. So, you can download them. Number four, we have here the slide share. So how can you access slide share? Sh slide share. So you can go to www.slideshare.net. So when you open that, you can see many types of many examples of PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, PowerPoint presentations that sometimes your teachers are using so it is very useful in our school so that is let's go back with what is it so that is slide share you can find many powerpoint presentation when you say power powerpoint presentation those are the presentations that your teacher is using when 
he or she is teaching you so that is light share and the last one of course one of the famous also uh, YouTube instead of saying YouTube that is wrong so you may say YouTube so YouTube is a word web search engine sharing different videos about different topics related to education or entertainment so sometimes the videos in the YouTube is educational sometimes for entertainment enter, entertainment purposes so that's why we have the so-called vlogger so when you say vlogger it is a person who is creating and uploading blogs so that is YouTube so again we have here Google so the same with Google we have Bing and the internet archive when you can find ebooks or books or um, fantasies ma biography science recipe books slide share about powerpoint presentations and youtube about videos which is sometimes educational or about for entertainment purposes only so try to remember class in general the following are the important are the importance of web search engine so why why do we have web search engine so we have web search engine because uh, for us to have information management so the world is full of information that a person cannot remember all with the help of web search engine bits of information were organized so that it can be retrieved easily so all the information are saved in the internet so that we can search them every now and then so information management it means organization of information so in the internet uh, the information is saved so it is organized we can search easily number two raise up awareness so what is that what is happening to the world can be accessed through the use of web search engine so we can we can be updated with what is happening in the other country because of the web search engine and number three information dissemination so we can exchange information through the use of the web search engine to be specific YouTube you, you may blog uh, something that you want to share with other people and number four digital communication so search engine is also consisting of different social media so imagine uh, facebook instagram twitter they are the new platforms of communication and can be under search engine okay so try to remember that last has so we have google bing internet archive number four is slide share and the last one is the last one is um, YouTube so for today I would like you to answer all the what's more activity so they are all five points so independent activity number one so this is the meaning all you need to do is to search to write the correct answer is it Google or Internet Archive write the correct answer number two is it Google or Internet Archive number three it is Bing or Google Num next independent assessment number one all you need to do is to complete the word by peeling up the correct letter next independent activity number two try to uh, connect try to match the icon to its name independent assessment number two so these are the meaning and all you need to do is to fill in the blank with the correct word next independent activity number three so these are the terms no these are the steps or the processes used in searching the internet so write fact if it is true and blob if it is false and the last one for today's activity independent assessment number three so I would like you to arrange this in proper sequ sequence on how you will use web search engine so all you need to do is to use numbers one to six arrange them in proper order on how you will search in google so if you have question again you can uh, chat in our group chat or you can send me uh, your question privately so good luck everyone